Hey everybody, I'm here with my review today of the Frozen 8K resin. Now, if you have watched my review of the Frozen Sonic Mini 8K printer, you might have seen some of these pictures, some of the figures, uh, and how this resin looks and what, I th and what I think of it and the machine together. So I'm uh, floating around my head. I'll have the link to that video. If you didn't see it, please check it out. So I'm gonna keep this one short. And I'll be honest, the Frozen 4K resin, the 4K resin, the one from last year, uh, I thought that was kind of just a marketing gimmick. I don't think, I tested that resin, I have a review of it, it was good, but it didn't print better than the Epax Hard Gray or the Soraya Navy Gray. Just in all honesty, I thought the 4K moniker was just a marketing tool. So I honestly expected that the 8K resin was going to be much the same thing and to just be regular resin marketed as 8K resin again, you know, to drive sales. So I was shocked when in my review of the Sonic Mini 8K that I got actual better print results with the 8K resin than I did with my beloved Epax Hard Gray, which, you know, if, you know everyone knows if you follow me on Facebook, uh, and look at the pictures I post, uh, you know, the Epax Hard Gray and the Saray Navy Gray, my two favorite resins, both about equal in, in detail. I love both of them. This 8K resin on the 8K printer surpassed the Epax Hard Gray. So I feel confident saying to you that I do not think, I think I was wrong. The 8K moniker on this resin is not hype. I think it actually prints, it's able to print smaller, more detail somehow. So I don't want to waste a lot of time. First, um, and I'll have the pictures again at the end, but let's just flash just a couple of the pictures so you can just see what, what this resin is capable of on an 8K printer. Some people have asked me on Facebook and messaged me and stuff about, you know, use this resin on a 4K printer. And to me, what's the point? It's not going to print. If, if, if it's special abilities to print smaller, the 4K resolution won't help. It's not going to do any better than any other resin you know, 4K, I don't think. So I would recommend this for, you know, small uh, 8K printers, maybe a small 6K printer, because uh, you know a lot of them are gonna be coming out soon. So anyway, we'll look at the pictures here. You see the resin, it prints amazing. So the only real question left, since it's the best printing resin I've ever tested in terms of picking up detail. So now the question is how durable is it? So we've got, you saw on the pictures, um, we've got the Goblin, Elite Goblin Guard listening and got the Elite Goblin, Goblin Guard on the lookout. So uh, let's let's break these guys. And I always and I always print this uh, this this dwarf lady as well and try to break her hair. So we'll see how that goes as well. So let's let's test it out and see what we got. Um, let's just start with a couple little drops. I still have uh, no breaks anywhere. And still no breaks. I was kind of half expecting the sword to break. So let me let me throw him onto a sword and see what happens. Sword. I'm throwing it tip down to try to maximize the impact and, and break it. Okay. That one did it. I mean that that the sword area is not that thick. At the base, and I'm slamming directly on it, so that broke. Let's see. Let me pop off one of his arms. Okay, not a not a lot of tension to break that. Actually, that's not necessarily a bad thing because it might mean it has a little bit of flex. It's not so, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of easier. This is actually starting to feel to me, and we'll know when I toss start tossing the dwarf lady around and toss her really high and see what happens to her hair. But right now, it feels. I would say it's not very flexible. Um, although, if I just go to bend the sword on this guy, you can see I'm getting, hmm, that flex was probably only about 45 degrees. So it's not very flexy. Now this is a thin piece, the sword itself, so it should flex a little more. And that I can do, didn't quite get to 90 before it snapped. So for someone like me, you guys know, if you watch the channel, my resin reviews, my biggest concern with resin is, you know, how well does it print? Um, and then for me, 
toughness is secondary because I handle my minis pretty carefully. They don't get, when I play my D&D, &D, they don't get tossed around and whacked a lot. You know, the biggest fall they have is maybe knocked over on the table, which no resin breaks when I do that. So I do these tests for you guys who, uh, you know, maybe playing with kids or clumsy or adults or you, you yourself may be clumsy. I, now and then I do drop stuff actually. So let's check her out. You see the picture she came out just, I mean, the model print, just incredible. Uh, but anyway, it's time to break her. So let's let's see what happens with her hair. Because this is what we always test to see. Still good? Pretty good catch there. Still no breaks. Let's toss her on it. I think, yep, a little, little piece broke off there. And that got another piece that fall, which was slammed pretty hard on the table, then another, say, three feet down to a a very hard floor got that little hair tip off also now that the hair tips are gone though there's not you know any break now it would have to be on something a little more substantial I that you know let's see what it takes let's let's throw it up to the ceiling back down to the table because we need some real force now and that got her arm so as you guys know if you watch my resin tests a bunch of resins can stand up to that you know, a couple of throws up to the ceiling and back down. And on the first one, her arm came off. So in terms of durability, I'm not going to give this a high rating. I absolutely love the resin. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just, it's just a little brittle. Um, so for, like I said, for me, it won't matter. I'm using it to death. I don't care. Uh, if I have a piece that I think might get handled a lot, I'll probably mix in uh, 10 or 15% Soraya Tenacious to uh, toughen that up. But otherwise, I'm just going to use it like this because it prints. It's just incredible. But in terms of durability, for people who are really concerned about durability, uh, you have to think twice about this resin, or I think you have to mix it with a flex resin or a, a tough resin and uh, and up that durability. Let me let me just break her legs here. The legs are a little, eh, not too bad. A little more force, but still, you know, break off without that much effort compared to some other resin. So. Oh, it's really sad to break a beautiful print like this. So durability wise, I'm not going to rate this high. Printability wise, highest marks ever. It's incredible. So the way the way I look at this resin is, uh, if you're careful with your minis like I am, you're going to paint them, display them, or when you play your D and D, you don't you know whack them around or you don't have a cat or dog who runs by and bites on it or anything like that uh, or a little. A little child my kids are grown so they don't come and knock my figures over or anything like that so um yeah low on durability high on printability gorgeous resin i personally absolutely love it highly recommend it but like i said if durability is one of your chief concerns then i don't recommend it the same way because uh, you, you then you have to start mixing it with other resins and probably then you're going to lose some of the benefits of that of that ak resin so that's it for my sonic uh sonic frozen 8k resin review and i'll have um some more pictures when i'm done talking here so you can look at some more results from this resin and in conjunction with the printer oh uh in my kickstarter which is launching january 15th uh that frozen sonic mini 8k is going to be for sale back at the early bird price i cut a deal with frozen where i don't make any of the money it all goes to frozen but they're going to give you guys a chance to get that early bird price again on what's I believe, you know, by far the best printer out there. So, um, you know, hopefully you guys will come back to my Kickstarter because the figures are amazing. But if you just want to get a Frozen Sonic Mini 8K back at the early bird price, you back the Kickstarter, you get the right to buy a printer at that price. So I think it's a pretty sweet deal. Anyway, uh, thanks and happy 3D printing, everyone.